Hello, hello. So we are in this fabulous game, and we're gonna do something which is a little bit damaging for the pride of my system, but I have to do this because later on, let's say when 3080 Ti will be available and I can get my hands on it, I'm gonna test this. So now we have Sly 2080 Ti enabled, 4K everything on max, and we're gonna do something extra because of course it's not enough for Detroit becomes human become human all the time I do this mistake with the, with the name of this so as you can see we are going to 8k resolution scale two times so let's see how it goes this is uh, and I chose this particular scene because it's very difficult to render port of Detroit and uh, it's raining a lot of lights a lot of shadows um, and this is the result barely 20 frames per second at this kind of performance the game is um, unplayable with sly enable I know you can't see the first GPU working over there in the, in the graphics but I, sh I assure you it's enabled uh, the thing is this game uh, doesn't know how to take advantage of the second GPU so this is why you ain't gonna see in there so uh, practically there's no benefit from the second GPU but I enabled anyway because I said okay maybe maybe is gonna help somehow but to be honest, I think uh, I think I will get more consistent performance from a single GPU in this kind of settings, uh, but not by far. So I said it's worth the risk. So this is the result: AK all all ultra, and I'm very very curious to see how, let's say, 3080 Ti will uh, will be able to manage this kind of uh, stress. Um, yeah, so let's say a few things about this game because in my first video I've criticized a lot uh, this game, especially uh, the way they chose to, to make the commands and you know the control over the character and so on. But once you get it, it's very easy to do it, and it's something new as well, and it's a new approach, and yeah it's very very interesting plus the story is absolutely amazing you can do you can do a tv show after this easily and um yeah great uh, great game great story i'm playing it like every day when i have time and uh, i can't wait to see where the story leads so performance wise uh at this kind of settings the game is unplayable, so I'm not gonna play it like this, no chance. 4K is enough, and by the way, for those one who saw the, the frame limiter set to 30 frames per second, just to let you know, I've done all the tricks and whatever, I'm on option 4 now, so actually when I'm in 4K I'm getting like, uh, I don't know, 60, 70 frames per second. So you can see you can see my previous uh, previous video and uh, you will understand the real performance that I'm getting in this game when I'm not in 8K. But let's be serious: who plays these games, AAA games, in this kind of resolution? I'm using a 27 uh, Asus uh, 27 UQ PG. Yeah, PG27, whatever. Uh, the 4K, 144 hertz, and it does give me an extraordinary performance and uh, visual effect. Um, but it's not really ready for 8K, isn't it? And we don't have the hardware to push those frames uh, high enough 
for this experience to be relevant so yeah let's let's get 4k under control uh, how we should and then we're gonna think about 8k as well but I'm telling you look at the look at the raindrops and there's a big big difference between 4k and 8k and imagine this kind of scenes played in uh, I don't know like intense scenes intense action scenes like shooting chasing and this kind of thing Ooh, it will look it will look absolutely amazing anyway I'll leave I'll leave you here see you next time thank you for watching and this is it I will take the damage <laughs>